K-I-L-R Killer Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the tour around the world, well, kind of, with Sierra Pro Pilot USA, which is a patched up version of just Sierra Pro Pilot, so it's pretty much the same program, but we are going to do a tour with this one anyway, so that way those of you who are interested in collecting these simulators, you kind of know what the difference is between all of them. You might want like one over the other. All right, well, let's talk about our flight in this particular episode. All righty, so we are here at Bloomington Normal. And if you followed uh, the episodes of the other simulators that we've been uh, flying, and if you're not, you should. Well, if you're interested. Anyway, we are going right over here to Champaign, Illinois. Okay, we're not doing both of those airports there. Just this one. University of Illinois, Williard. Because we're going back to school. Not really. Uh, this map here is the Sublogic uh, map from Flight Simulator 2. Uh, and if we were to zoom out here, let's say about, well, that was too much. Um, that's a little better. This is the original Chicago, uh, map. And as you can see, University of Illinois is the furthest, uh, south. So what I did, and I think what maybe many people did, is they started off here at Maristy Megs and... I think they, you know, they may have stopped here at Greater Kankakee to um, maybe refuel and then come over here to University of Illinois. That's why I was kind of surprised that Kankakee was not uh, included in the scenery. In the, the data. I mean, they got all these other airports, but they don't have Kankakee. I don't understand that, especially uh, since Sublogic uh, helped develop the original pro pilot um, all, and sublogic's name is no longer on the box for the pro pilot usa so i don't know it doesn't make sense to me why they didn't include it um just seems like a big oversight if you ask me uh because they had some of these other airports in there some of them not all of them but yeah so this is where we're going we're we're flying uh from here to here and now that we're back in the aircraft here, what we're going to go ahead and do is do some planning. We're going to create our flight plan here. We're going to do an IFR flight since it's still nighttime in our Cessna 172R. Uh, I'm going to set this for, I'll set it for 3,000 feet, uh, even though it'll probably put us at 7,000 feet anyway. That uh, just seems weird. I it, like I don't even know why we put that in there. It puts us on another uh, altitude anyway. Okay, we'll click next. What's our departure? BMI, Bloomington, Illinois. Click yes on that. And this is CMI, <laughs> University of Illinois. So the, the K's are not in here. You just do the last three digits. Last three letters. And there we go. There is our, it's just a direct route from here to here. Click next. And we've got some weather there. Oh, uh, which will click generate and change that. So we're not always getting, see, I, what I don't like about, I, I wish they, broken is exactly what I think of this weather thing. Because it never seems to have clear. It's either broken or, or overcast. It's kind of annoying. 
uh, here we go this is our this is our trip and it's supposed to only take us 19 minutes it might take us another 19 minutes to land because of how it routes us around but that is how it is and it throws us right on the runway because that's what it does <laughs> I don't like that I don't like that part either but uh, we should be all set to go. We should have a co-pilot. We can go over here to the mode menu. And uh, there is a... There's a couple of options here. You can't see one of them because it's cut off on the top. But one is pilot and the command. The other one is dual flight. Uh, we got dual flight uh, checked. So that way we have a co-pilot. And we can change back and forth. It's just kind of nice to have that co-pilot. Uh, to handle all the radios and everything else. Okay, so uh, I believe it looks like we got both of our VORs here, so we're good to go. We'll go ahead and change your fill then. Change that to both. And we can go ahead and go S. And nothing happens because we have to turn the battery on. <laughs> so remember that. S again. Ooh, brrr. Go ahead and turn all that on. Turn on our radios. Flight information X ray four three Zulu weather measured ceiling four seven hundred broken temperature five four two point five zero wind two five eight at four altimeter two nine or nine or four landing and departing runway two nine or departures contact ground on one two one point six five arrivals contact approach on one one eight point zero five. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information X-ray. Flight information X-ray four three Zulu weather measured ceiling four seven hundred broken temperature five four two point five zero wind two five eight. Ground Cessna Niner five seven two Lima with information X-ray request clearance to Charlie Mike. India. Cessna 9 or 572 Lima, clear to Charlie, Mike, India, via radar vectors to direct Charlie, Mike, India, climb and maintain 4,000, <clears throat> expect 4,000, 10 minutes after departure. Oh, yay. Departure frequency 118.05, squawk 1325. Climb and maintain 4,000, squawk 1325, Cessna 72 Lima. He'll change everything for us. Okay, well this is not two niners, so um, as a matter of fact, I think two niners right in front of us. Contact tower on one two four point six. Good day. Contact tower at one two four point six. Cessna seven two Lima. Good day. Tower at Cessna niner five seven two Lima. Holding short of two niner. Cessna niner five seven two Lima. Taxi into position and hold runway two niner. Position and hold. Runway 2, Niner, Cessna 72 Lima. For some reason, I'm not turning, and I don't know why. Why are we not turning here? Cessna 72 Lima, cleared for takeoff, runway 2, Niner. Yeah, but I can't turn. Why can't I turn? This is odd. Okay. I think we may have a problem with the auto coordination, so let's just turn that back off again. Yeah, look at that. That was weird. Whoops. Sorry, the controls are just so weird in this one. They're just oddly placed. The uh, period and comma are your rudders, and then you have to center it with the L key. I know it's all right there, but 
it's also not where the throttle is at, so it's just kind of bizarre. Alright, so here's runway 29er. Let's go ahead and uh, get going here. Forty knots, fifty knots, rotate sixty knots, rotate seventy knots. Whoa! Cessna seven two Lima, fly heading two nine zero. Fly heading two nine zero. Cessna seven two Lima. All right, so I'm going to turn the power down a little bit here. Cessna 72 Lima, contact departure on 118.05. Good day. Contact departure 118.05. Cessna 72 Lima. Good day. Departure Cessna 9572 Lima. Cessna 9572 Lima. Radar contact received direct of Charlie Mike, India. Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima. Climb and maintain 6,000. Climb and maintain 6,000. Cessna 72 Lima. They said 4,000 to start off with. Lima. Turn left heading 130. Turn left heading 130. Cessna 72 Lima. You'll notice that that's exactly what I selected here, was 130. That is not the correct thing either. I think it's Alt-N. There we go. That was the ADF. It reset that. I had it set for the VOR. Okay. Yay, we get to fly over the uh, airport again. Well, we are on our way. And it looks like Nav 1 finally clicked in there. We got about 40 miles. Well, roughly 39 miles until we get to the airport. Should not take us too long. So I hope everything is going well for you in these very odd and bizarre times. Hoping the world will go back to normal here. For those of you watching this in the future... <laughs> Hello from the past. Uh, this ooh, is the year 2020. Uh, a year that I oh, 
thought was going to be a good year, and it turned out being a disastrous year. Uh, with the whole virus pandemic thing that's that's going on. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go up to 6,000. I forgot about that. Yeah, it has definitely not uh, been fun. Hopefully, at the time that I'm recording this, uh, it will have gotten better. I'm holding out faith. Faith in humanity. That we will come together and work on this. Ugh. Center, Cessna Niner 572 Lima. Cessna Niner 572 Lima, proceed direct to Charlie Mike, India. Cessna Niner 572 Lima. Did the call sign change? No, it's still the same. I kept wondering if maybe the call sign was changing, but no, I think that's the. Yeah, he just happened to say 9572 Lima. Where are all the other ones? He was like 72 Lima. Oh, bye. may have to take some of these uh, AVIs and uh, make separate videos and put them on the channel. I've been doing that with Flight Simulator 98 and there's a few on Flight Simulator 2000. But I'm uh, looking at the, uh, the manual here for ProPilot USA. Uh, just kind of reading where we left off pretty much. Uh, and it's ground school and co-pilot assistance. One of the things that makes ProPilot USA such a valuable learning tool are the ground school AVIs or short video movies. <laughs> Does anyone use AVIs much anymore? Uh, and co-pilot assistance features. So ground school. The ground school component of ProPilot USA consists of a dozen or so AVIs covering a variety of topics. These videos are a great way to learn how to fly because they give you a visual reference to accompany the audio and text instruction. To access these ground school videos, simply access the mode option off the menu uh, strip located along the top of the window. Select ground lesson off the mode pull down menu. You'll be asked to insert disk 2 into your CD-ROM drive. The video files are stored on this second disk. Well, at least I know where to find them. Once the disc has been inserted, you are given a choice of videos to view. Use the slider bar ay, ay, ay. I'm tired. to scroll the entire list, then double click on your selection. So that mode is, is over here. 
Uh, you may have seen where it said uh, ground school when we had uh, brought it down. The shadowing on these clouds is kind of wicked looking. Very different than what we've seen in the uh, the other early Microsoft flight simulators. Co-pilot assistance. That's what we're doing. In the real world, when starting out as a pilot, the FAA requires that you have a certified instructor. Yeah, we just need to make a little bit of a turn here. Uh, so the FAA requires that you have a certified instructor aboard the aircraft. Only after you approve your instructor's satisfaction that you won't hurt the aircraft or yourself, are you allowed to fly solo. In ProPilot USA, you have the option of taking a co-pilot instructor along. You are not forced to take one with you, but it's a good idea. Your co-pilot takes much of the workload off your shoulders, so you can concentrate on flying. If you want to have a co-pilot accompany you, use your mouse to access the menu strip located at the top of your screen. This is up here like we did before. Select mode and check the dual flight option on the pull down menu. You'll remember that we selected that or we made sure that it was checked. Checking dual flight brings up the dual flight dialog box. The dual flight dialog box contains a check labeled co-pilot on board. Use your mouse to place a check in this box if you wish to have a co-pilot go with you in the aircraft. Other check boxes determine the level of co-pilot assistance offered. For example, checking the box labeled handles nav radios causes the co-pilot to automatically tune your nav radios to the appropriate frequency. Let's go ahead and do that. So here's dual pilot, so we can click co-pilot on board, calls off airspeed on takeoff, handles radio communication, handles nav radios, and here's the instruction where we can have a give us flight advice, monitors our altitude, monitors our heading. And we're 11 miles from the airport, so I think we'll... We'll stop with the reading there. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 150. Fly heading. One five zero Cessna seven two Lima. Cessna seven two Lima. Contact approach one Flight information X ray three five nine Zulu weather measured ceiling four seven hundred broken temperature five Cessna seven two Lima. Wind two five eight at four altimeter two nine nine or four. Landing and departing runway 32 left. Departures contact ground on 121.8. Arrivals contact approach on 121.35. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information X ray. Flight information X ray 419er. Zulu weather. Measured ceiling 4700. Broken. Temperature 54 2.50. Wind 258. Approach Cessna Niner 572 Lima inbound for landing with X ray. Cessna Niner 572 Lima, expect vectors for approach runway 32 left, squawk 5324. Expect vectors for 32 left, squawk 5324, Cessna 72 Lima. Alright, let's begin our descent here.
Now, I don't know if he uh, changes our radio for the uh, ILS uh, and stuff, but... It's not like we're going to know what those are. So the airport should be uh, real close. Just didn't see it. You know, we're looking out this way, but... actually past the airport <laughs> somewhere back there Cessna 72 Lima fly heading 260 fly heading 260 Cessna 72 Lima whoops two six zero is back over here using the trim here so that we can kind of stabilize our altitude here because we got our flaps down it wants to wants to drop down is what it wants to do and I believe the sparkly sparkly stuff over here is champagne What it's doing is it's uh, going to put us in a traffic pattern. And you can choose whether it's the right or the left side. But either way, it's going to take you into a traffic pattern downwind of the runway. Which I think uh, it's supposed to do. Uh, because I've been... Because I've been watching some of the Flight Simulator 98 videos that I've got. 
Um, and even one of the uh, Flight Sim 2000 ones, and it talks about the traffic pattern and when approaching an airport, so... I guess you're supposed to do that. I don't, usually. Most of the time. <laughs> Not all the other simulators. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 150. Fly heading 150, Cessna 72 Lima. Fly heading one five zero. This we're still going down. Wow, we're definitely circling the airport this time. Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 050. Turn left heading 050, Cessna 72 Lima. Alright, he's bringing us around. Except we should be going more south, but let's just follow his direction. Actually, we're south. We're actually, we're already south. So the airport's going to be north of us. I thought it was behind us. But you may notice that the mileage is getting smaller. I believe that's air traffic. We didn't have air traffic turned on before, but I turned it on this time. been trying to climb back up to 3,000. We're slowly getting there. The wind is blowing us. Because I was at 5 0.
Now we're get, heading away from the airport again. Where is it taking us? Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 040. Fly heading 040, Cessna 72 Lima. out that way somewhere. Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 320. Turn left heading 320, Cessna 72 Lima. I think I mentioned this on the other flight where the flight doesn't seem to take long. It's the whole routing around until we land part that seems to take long. Cessna 72 Lima, climb and maintain 4,000. What? Climb and maintain 4,000. Cessna 72 Lima. 3,000 was high enough. Now they want us to go back to 4? What's wrong with these bozos? Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 320. Fly heading 320, Cessna 72 Lima. Got the city below us there. There's the airport. Oh, we're flying right next to it. That can't be it. It says it's five miles away. Huh. Now, on the next flight, uh, we're not going to, uh, we won't do the autopilot. Matter of fact, on the next several flights, I may not do the autopilot. They want us to land on runway 32, so... Oh man, I don't know what they're doing. Now autopilot was, uh, not autopilot, ATC was working pretty decently on the last flight. Hopefully it will do the same on this one.
haven't always had the best of luck. Cessna 72 Lima, climb and maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000. Cessna 72 Lima. Which we are doing. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 240. Fly heading. Zero Cessna seven two Lima. Maybe that's the airport. I'm not sure what we saw before. I don't think we come, came full circle though. You think they'll ever take us to the airport? Seems like it's taking an awful long time. A little too long, if you ask me. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 250. Fly heading 250, Cessna 72 Lima. Look what it's doing. It's like, here, go this and then move slightly this direction. Cessna 72 Lima, 
Cessna 72 Lima, descend and maintain 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000. Cessna 72 Lima. <laughs> now it's taking us the other way. That's okay. I mean, you guys want to be able to see a uh, an accurate depiction of what happens when flying CR Pro Pilot in ATC, and well, here you go. And now that I want to descend, it doesn't want to descend. <laughs> Like, whatever I want to do, it has a hard time doing. Like, climbing? Nah. N now, that it, now that I want to descend, it's like, nah, I want to climb. It can't make up what it wants to do. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 150. Fly heading 150, Cessna 72 Lima. If they have us climb to 4,000 again... Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 160. Fly heading 160, Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, descend and maintain 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000, Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 050. Turn left heading 050, Cessna 72 Lima. If you ever thought ATC was annoying in uh, FSX and P3D, well, I got news for you. <laughs> Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 040. Fly heading 040, Cessna 72 Lima. Or in some cases, the ATC with um, uh, X plane. That can be quite. Uh, Cessna Annoying too. Lima, fly heading zero three zero. Fly heading <coughs> zero three zero. Cessna seven two Lima. Cessna 
Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 0 2 0. I knew it was going to do that. Fly heading 0 2 0, Cessna 72 Lima. Fly heading 0 1 0, fly heading 3 6 0. Fly heading 3 5 0. Let's just take you around a merry go round here. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 3 6 0. Fly heading 3 6 0, Cessna 72 Lima. <clears throat> Cessna 72 Lima, turn right heading 0 5 0. What? Turn right heading 0 5 0, Cessna 72 Lima. This is no longer uh, entertaining. We are practically going around and around that uh, vor. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 040. Fly heading 040, Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 030. Fly heading 030, Cessna 72 Lima. If we're doing this for the next 10 minutes, um, Cessna 72 Lima, turn left heading 320. Turn left heading 320, Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, climb and maintain 4,000. Climb and maintain 4,000, Cessna 72 Lima. Uh-uh, no, no. This is where we stop with that garbage. All right, how do we turn off ATC? I am not sure. Uh, ATC communication. Cancel ATC. We are done with that. Yep. Homie's not playing that one. All right. There's the airport right there. So we're going to go ahead and just line up with one of the runways and we are going to land. I cannot believe that it was just having us going around and around and around. Actually, I can't believe it, but... We're going to take a break from the ATC for a bit. <laughs> when it works, it's kind of nice. I mean, it worked on the last flight. But this time around, oh no, it did not. It was a 
flaming pile of hot garbage on this one. Alright, here we go. Come on, I am not doing a go around on this. This has been long enough. park off here to the side. Jeez. Oh my word. <clears throat> okay, well, finally, uh, we landed. Um, although we could have land, oh, I don't know, what, an hour ago? <sighs> Yeah, so, anyway, well, you know, I thought we had a problem with the ATC in the, like, the regular unpatched version of ProPilot, but I guess maybe it's just random. Some airports it works really well at, and other airports, it just routes you around and around and around. Yeah, no, shoot. <laughs> well, at least you're getting kind of an accurate representation of... Uh, how the game actually works, and in some cases, doesn't work. So, there you go. Alright, well, next flight, we are, next several flights, uh, we are not going to do ATC for a bit, so. Ah, there you go. Well, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and if you are subscribed, double check to make sure you're subscribed, because YouTube tends to drop, uh, drop subscribers for whatever reason it's probably a conspiracy i don't know uh and then uh follow me on twitch for some live streams i i live stream um typically six days a week it depends upon how i'm feeling but that is the goal and then social media uh instagram and twitter and snapchat and then patreon if you'd like to uh support me and uh and what i do and get some bonuses as a result anyways thanks for watching again i appreciate it have a <laughs> i'll see you on the next leg of our journey have a killer awesome day